definitely think you know, I was definitely trying to take advantage of each and every rep that I got today. Looking forward to getting better tomorrow. Yeah, I found out right when I woke up this morning, you know, last night. Just looking over the plays, but this morning, uh, our quarterback coach just texted me and said, be ready to take some reps for the ones today. But this morning, but it's good, you know, uh, to face, you know, some short-term memory, some adversity, stuff that's, you know, not expected. We're going to face things in games that aren't expected. That's about how we react to those situations and how we adjust, so. Fair Twitter brought to you by South Hills Kia and Peter Soundship. Visit them at SouthHillsKia.net. Dickerson, Callis behind the glass. And that was Justin Fields uh, yesterday talking about how he woke up and found out that Russell Wilson was not going to be participating in the first practice of the 2024 NFL season of the Pittsburgh Steelers. We'll get into my theory around Russell Wilson in the next segment. But Justin Fields, I mean, these are the opportunities that uh, he is going to get and getting this opportunity early on, I think, was a good thing for the Steelers, a good thing for Justin Fields. They are going to evaluate every single thing he does, every single thing. And you know what? It's not in the first day of training camp. I mean, you got nerves, you got anxieties, you have emotions. You walk on the field for the first time. And you're like, OK, like this is the start of the journey. And the journey is so damn long, as you all know. I mean, it goes all the way till February if you are lucky and if you are the most prepared football team week in, week out. You get a chance to make it to February and to possibly be called a champion in the NFL. But this is the start of the journey. And this is a, a, a different Pittsburgh Steelers team. Uh, we, said about it, we said a little bit about it yesterday. Kenny Pickett gone. Mason Rudolph gone. Mitch Trubisky gone, new quarterback room, three new quarterbacks at the Pittsburgh Steelers, one you traded for who is an intriguing prospect, who is an intriguing player, was a top 10 pick for the Chicago Bears at the quarterback position. The Chicago Bears felt like with their, their position in the draft this past year that they couldn't miss on Caleb Williams. So they are willing to part ways with their former first-round pick, which is Justin Fields. The Steelers felt like Justin Fields still has something left in the tank, so they traded for him. And he got his first opportunity yesterday to do all the things we were talking about. So if you listened yesterday about what I was saying, breaking down Justin Fields and what the Steelers' plan probably and might be for Justin Fields, it started yesterday. Like, they want to figure out if this guy – can take control of the offense. They want to see his leadership. They want to see if he could potentially be the quarterback of the future of the Steelers. Now, Russell Wilson, if he has a good year, he probably is going to price himself out of the Steelers. I mean, that's just, it it is, and you you all know, like the Steelers aren't going to spend that much money. Russell Wilson might be in the $50 million range. As you saw yesterday, I mean, it's floated out there that Dak Prescott could be a $65 million quarterback. If Russell Wilson has a better season than Dak Prescott, he's not going to get $65 million, but I bet you he gets 50 That's just too high. That's too high for a guy that's 36 years old. So what the Steelers are looking for is for Justin Fields to possibly be the guy of the future. Uh, Omar Khan has stated that there will be no extensions uh, at, at any time in the near future for either quarterbacks probably will wait till after the season. But what the Steelers can find out about Justin Fields this year is how he does those little things. And you can find that out in preseason. You can find that out uh, like days like yesterday in training camp. He will sporadically get his opportunities during the season, but it'll be in a gadget form. He's not going to be the starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers this year unless Russell Wilson is injured on IR, out for the season, out for a few weeks. He will get his opportunities then. If that does happen, it's a long season. We saw what happened last year to at least 15 starting quarterbacks in the NFL. So backup quarterbacks are are a huge asset to teams now with quarterbacks being injured so frequently. So maybe he does get his opportunity then. But you will see Justin Fields on the field this year. It it just won't be in the form of a consistent, hey, you are going to be the starting quarterback of this game, and Russ, we're just not going to go with you. That's just not going to happen. But they will be able to find out little things, and I'm sure they found out a decent amount yesterday. You go in, 
you have practice, and I'm sur- sure some of you saw some of the clips from him throwing the deep ball to Van Jefferson and Dante Jackson falling down. I'm sure that, that Justin Fields had his ups and his downs. I mean, that's how the first day of training camp goes. But there, the reason why that they brought back Mike Sullivan, the quarterback coach, is for guys like Justin Fields. Is for actually Justin Fields. Because now Mike Sullivan's job is to break down Justin Fields alongside of breaking down practice, alongside of breaking down the offense. Justin Fields basically has his personal, has his own personal coach. And it's a guy that has been around. Um, he's called plays in the NFL. You guys know, you know, some of you know Mike Sullivan's background, called plays in the NFL, has been the quarterback coach for a few years for the Pittsburgh Steelers, had an opportunity to call plays last year whenever my, Matt Canada got fired. He is going to be that one-on-one coach for Justin Fields to make sure that he is doing everything necessary and they can get the most out of him, as we basically were talking about in the pre-show. Fan text line brought to you by Edgar Snyder and Associates, a personal injury law firm where they always say there's never a fee unless we get money for you. Yeah, that that's what's going to happen. So, like, Justin Fields is going to go break down practice after practice yesterday, and then he's going to, you know, get his little break, and this is what training camp is for, and then he's probably going to meet one-on-one with Tom Arth, who is the quarterback coach. He's going to meet one-on-one with Arthur Smith, who is obviously the offense coordinator, and then he's going to take the time to break down himself. Break down himself with Mike Sullivan. That is an awesome position to be in if you're Justin Fields, and he didn't get that before. He didn't get that in Chicago. He didn't get the proper tools to to be that top-level quarterback that everybody was expecting him to be. Now for him to get these reps yesterday, it's it's very important. It, It was a very important day, and it was a very important moment. And we may see this pan out. Now, I know that you're not going to – they weren't in pads. It wasn't pass rush. It wasn't a game. But this is – whenever you get put in a position where you're kind of blindsided, it's a test. Like, he was blindsided, as you heard in that quote there that we just played. But you need to be prepared to be blindsided, especially in the NFL. You should always be prepared for your opportunity for somebody to get hurt next man up type deal. And I have an interesting theory around it that we'll talk about next because this was a test for Justin Fields. Are you ready? Now we could have called upon you. This could have happened two weeks from now and you would have been, you know, had your feet wet. You would have, uh, you know, dipped your toes in the water and you'd have been somewhat more comfortable to be able to do things like this. If you already have a week underneath your belt of, of training camp and practice. But no, you get a knock on your door or you get a text from Arthur Smith as soon as you wake up, probably like 6 a.m. right now, yesterday, and says, come down to come down to my room or come down to the office where we're watching film. I need, we need to have a talk. And, it's, and you're Justin Fields and Arthur Smith's like, you're going to be starting today. So now your whole mindset changes, and that's a test. Can you handle those situations? Can you handle being thrown in the fire when we need you? Everything is a test for a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys. Outside of T.J. Watt, Cam Hayward, you know, some of the other veterans, Minka Fitzpatrick, everything is a test because you want to be prepared for every single moment whenever uh, things happen during the season. And you don't want to have to – you want to be able to rely on these guys. And you want to be able to rely on Justin Fields. So I love that this, this is the situation at hand. And that's what happened yesterday. And it was kind of interesting because, you know, there was there is a lot of chatter around the quarterback position of the Steelers. Are there going to be reps that are going to be split? Is Russell Wilson really in pole position? I mean, these are what the talking heads are talking about on the national shows. Uh, is it this is might be Justin Fields job. This might be Justin Fields time to go show that he could be the starting quarterback of the Steelers. There's still a lot of chatter around the Steelers quarterback position. So for it to play out like this on the first day, I think it's fantastic. And I don't know if it played out the way that I think people think that it played out. That's where I kind of chuckle. <laughs> That's where it is funny to me. Kaus, do you think Justin Fields will be the starting quarterback of the Steelers next year? Mm, no. No? Do you think it'll be Russell Wilson? Mm, no. Wow. So it's somebody else. It could be somebody else altogether. Okay. All right. This is what they're looking for, though. 
and it makes too much. It makes too too much sense to me. It makes too much sense that that this is what happened, and this is how the Steelers started their 2024 training camp. 2024 training camp underway. They have practice today. They put on pads on Tuesday, so you still have a few days until the Steelers put on pads and actually get after it. But this was a good barometer of what is to come I think for a lot of things and this is not going to just happen to Justin Fields I have a feeling it's going to happen to some other guys as well